I um, want to talk to you guys about the stuff I'm using today. And this is in collaboration with Rachel from Gathered Plans. And we are going to be using this beautiful kit here from Avenue K Inspire. Now, this is the first time I've actually shopped from her shop. Uh, because Rachel PRs for her and she said hey just like pick this up really quickly and then we can use this one for a collab because we couldn't really find a kit that um, we both had that's in our lineups coming up soon so Avenue K Inspire shipped this out to me like super quickly which was amazing and I did actually pick this one up a la carte because I knew in advance that I could plan you know out my items so I just picked up three sheets so let's dive into this and this is called farmhouse by the way and the first sheet you get your full boxes you get looks like nine of them and a couple um quarter boxes here then this next sheet is all of the boxes and three heart check boxes and then lastly is this page with your bottom washi and your date covers um now i actually will not be using this for the spread after kind of looking everything over and planning things out i wanted to use silver foil and as you can see this has gold veining and i feel like it would just kind of throw off the kit or the spread should i say and i'm also not going to be using the day cover so really i shouldn't have bought this page but <laughs> it is what it is um so i'm just going to jump right into um the video here and this will be a sped up uh, process of the video because this part takes quite a while and is kind of um, monotonous to be honest so we're just gonna go ahead and get started hey everyone it's me Tanya from leggings plans and I hope you're doing well I am here to do my second plan with me and I am so happy to announce that this plan with me plan with me will be done in collaboration with Rachel from Gathered Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. So um, we have decided to do kind of a question and answer speed round type of uh, plan with me instead of kind of just going through the questions as we go. And so I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first question is uh, rings, coil or discs? And for me, I would say 100% coil. As you can see, I've been planning in my EC. Uh, if you own rings, what is your ideal size? So yes, I own rings, and I would definitely say B6 is my ideal size. It's not too big, it's not too small. How many planners do you use? For me, it would be three. So I have my Erin Condren, as you see here. I also have my recollections that I use for memory planning. And then I also have my B6 rings that is from Aura Estelle currently. Uh, next question, col colorful or neutral? 100% neutral. Uh, EC, happy planner or recollections? If I had to pick just one, I would say Erin Condren for now. <laughs> you guys know how I feel about the, the new layout change, so we'll see. Ask me that question in about three months or so. Uh, favorite foil color, 100% hollow. However, I obviously don't use holographic foil on a daily basis, so I would have to say light gold. Uh, fashion girl or no fashion girl? Well, it really depends on the artist, to be honest. I only like fashion girls if they look like real humans, not like cartoon characters. No shade. <laughs> uh, next up, bold or pastels? Uh, for me, I would definitely say bolds. I like to have a lot of color in my planner, even though I like neutral planners, but I like to put it there myself. <laughs> um, I like pastels every now and then, but it can get very repetitive and boring um, if every spread looks light pink or light gray or, you know, whatever the pastel color of the week is. Um, my, my most prized washi roll. I probably should have brought this out. Let me go grab it really quickly. Okay, I'm back. So I would say that my most prized washi roll is this one here. And this is Pen Gems from Simply Gilded. Not sure if the camera's gonna have the color show up accurately, but it's really like a light purple 
light blue mixture um, with light gold foil. This is super hard to find, um, but luckily I was able to find this on the BST like months ago and I only paid $25 for it. This roll typically goes for like $200. So I don't know if the girl that was selling it to me just like didn't really know its value or she just didn't care. She just wanted it gone, but I snagged that sucker up real quick. <laughs> okay, um, going along with that, what is your... Um, uh, favorite washi size so i would definitely say 15 millimeter premium matte or glossy paper premium matte through and through glossy doesn't bother me but if i have the option i'm going to go with premium matte uh favorite youtube planner planner girl i would say definitely planning peep um even though she has really super quick videos which isn't like extremely my style i just love how she plans and then on the other side i would say of course viv from viv loves to plan uh she's just so hilarious and entertaining to to listen to next question favorite planner instagram now this is a hard one because I follow so many people and I get a lot of inspiration from so many different like places, but I would have to say that like of all the people where I've like never really not liked to spread, I would have to say Shantae Plans and I'm not just saying that because she's like one of my good friends here on YouTube and Instagram, but I just I just love the way she she does everything. Her handwriting is so perfect and dainty and just goals. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, next question: character stickers or naw? So I would definitely have to say it depends. Each spread um, doesn't need character stickers, but also I don't like the ones that are too like what's the word I'm looking for to like anime um i just like cute ones they don't have to be like over the top like coffee monsters co um once more with love those are good ones next question clip art or photo kit so i would have to say both and i know this is kind of cheating the question but i would say both because each kit like it depends on the situation right so some clip art is like really really pretty but some of it can look kind of like cartoony and cheesy to be honest um but all of the photo kits that i've seen like the art is just impeccable and so i would have to say both uh okay next one perfect pen nib size so i would definitely say 0.5 for sure uh let's see a couple questions left Favorite season for kits, 100% summer. I am so pumped for the summer kits that I have coming up this year. I am a summer baby as well, so naturally I gravitate to summer things. Uh, let's see, full kit, mini kit, or a la carte? I would definitely say mini kit if it's an option. Um, I very rarely shop a la carte. Uh, unless I know in advance like how I plan to use a kit if it's a kit that I'm using like in the very near future and I can you know kind of plan that out uh, and then the last question here is plan with me pet peeve now I have a couple but I won't bore you um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say probably plan with me's on YouTube that don't actually have plans. Like you go through all of this process and you lay down your date covers, your bottom washi, your sidebar, your full boxes, and you've got like one thing to do each day. Like, I'm sorry, why does that take 35 to 50 minutes to show me you, you're doing one thing on each day? Like basically you're just saying you're putting down the base and that's it. Like that's not a plan with me, that's a, I don't even know what you what you would call that but that like literally grinds my gears like i understand everyone uses their planners differently and like kudos to you but like why are you filming the same thing every week if you don't actually have plans like why are you going through this whole process with filming and editing and uploading if you literally don't have anything to do <laughs> like, i'm sorry it's just it's kind of asinine to me and i might come off as like i don't know an asshole part of my French when I'm saying this but it just it just seems like a waste of time for me personally um unless you're gonna do like a super super duper sped up video that's like 10 minutes but I just don't see the 
the value in watching a video that's, you know, 40 minutes long with no plans and no stickers outside of the base kit. But anyways, enough of that. <laughs> okay, so for Monday, I've got quite a bit to do, um, but we're going to start off as we do with every week with Coffee Monday. And I have pulled some stickers for this. So this sticker here is from My Newest Addiction, and it's a beautiful coffee cup. And we're just going to throw that here. And then the script that I pulled to match is from uh, Paper and Milk, Coffee Monday. All right. Um, this is a pretty, like, I guess chill week for me. <laughs> um, nothing, like, epic happening. Um, I do want to put Memorial Day in here. I kind of want to put it on the full box, though. What do you think? If I put it up here... Mm, yeah, I'm going to put it in here, down at the bottom. I like that. That's cute. All right. Uh, because it's Memorial Day, I have the day off. Hallelujah. So I'm going to put that here. Oops. I'm ripping it. This is from Magic Prince Co., by the way. These banners are so cute. I've had them in my stash for quite a while. I love using them. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, so pumped for Monday. Um, well, today, really. <laughs> there is a Clever Gal Crafts um, release of her new summer colorways, and y'all know how I feel about that. So I'll be getting every damn one because I can and I want to. <laughs> judge if you want I'm gonna use a pink label but I'm gonna use a skinnier pink one and I'm gonna put that here and of course to notate it I'm going to use a CGC heart this is from the cable knit uh, colorway that came out in the winter time and it's with the silver luster foil that's my favorite type of foiling from her the luster finish I also will be filming this plan with me, which obviously I am doing this now. I'm filming this on Monday. I was supposed to do this yesterday, but hashtag busy. So <laughs> we are gonna just put this pink down here. Actually, let's see. So I wanna use this script from Letters to Apollo, but I don't want like too many scripts. So maybe I put it up here, but it's pink. Hmm. We'll save this one for 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 a minute. I do want to notate Orange Theory, so I'm going to that today. And I'm using these really cute. You guys have seen me use these before, but these are from Ruby Trav. They're little um, shakers, shaker cups. And I'm gonna use the scallops this week to mark Orange Theory because. I have three of them, so why not? So I'm just gonna use this scallop here and throw the shaker down. I also have been hearing about this new show called, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say it right, it's like Chernobyl or something like that. So I want to check that out. So I'm just gonna use this little TV from Fassy Stickers, but I wanna put it on a washi strip of some sort. Okay, so I'm going to use this TV from Fassy Stickers and one of these squared off labels from my newest addiction. I love these things. And I'm just gonna throw that here. And then I'm going to write in the name of the show. All right, uh, what else do we have for Monday? So we have Coffee Monday, one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that really it? I feel like I'm missing something, maybe not. So I think that's everything for Monday. Um, let's see, tomorrow, Tuesday, I 
Oh, my filming my plan with me. Okay, so let me put that down. <laughs> let me put that down. And this sticker here is from, this beautiful sticker is from Lovely Plannery. All right, moving on to Tuesday. So it's Trash Eve. All right, so I definitely need to go to the post office because I've got some kits that I need to ship out. So I'm gonna just put that on a skinny label from the kit. And this icon here from Plans with Finesse. Trash Eve. I picked up these super cute um, snowball stickers from Sweet Ava's Paper with Snowball taking out the stinky garbage. So I'm gonna throw that down here. And use this script. Oh, I should have done it the other way. Oh no, that's fine. Mm, yeah, the other way. So we're gonna do that here. That's okay, right? Okay. Uh, Two dollar Tuesday. So I'm just gonna simply use this from. Where is this from? Magic Prince Co. And I also want to do Orange Theory again on Tuesday. So I'm going to use a another label, scallop, funny looking label, and we're going to put that here. using the same shaker cup from Ruby Trev and putting that there. Awesome. Uh, it is also litter day. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. But I will be using these from uh, the sticker party. <laughs> I don't know why I just like brain farted on that. But I am going to put this on a label. And let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm just using a washi strip from the kit. And and this icon from the sticker party. IPR for her as well. All, the, all of the items that I use in this kit will be listed down in the description bar, as well as my coupon codes. Um, but for the sticker party, it is Tanya10 to save 10% off. All right. Um, and the last thing I need to mark for Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. So I want to use a pink label for this because there's not a lot of pink going on here. So I'm just going to throw this down here. Cute. And I pulled some stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. These are these adorable little tacos. So I'm just gonna put those in this corner. And then, that, then I'll write Taco Tuesday. All right, moving on to Wednesday. Yay, hump day. So I have, I definitely wanna go see Aladdin. So I'm gonna put that up at the top here. And I didn't pull, wow, that is not straight. I didn't pull an icon because I didn't really have one, but I'll figure something out for that. Um, then I also have a pretty long work session, yuck. Um, so I'm gonna put that on a label and let's do, let's do, this one so these are like interesting interestingly shaped like 
two sides are squared and two sides are rounded off. I've never seen any boxes like that. It's very, very unique and cute. I like it a lot. Um, okay, so we're gonna throw that down there and I feel like I want to use one of these flourishes from Sadie's stickers on the top of this box. How are you supposed to do this? <laughs> Struggle bus. Shantae does this like so perfectly. I don't know how she does it. Uh, this maybe it's just not the right one. Okay, that's cute. I'll 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 manage with that. And then I'm just gonna use this work script from Letters to Apollo and put that right on top. Okay. Next up, Jane the Virgin is coming on. I'm so sad. We only have a couple more episodes left. And I wanna say there's like three episodes left and I'm not okay with that. Like I am not okay. And because this is the final season. So like, this is it, this is it. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I am team Raphael, but he has been pissing me off lately, like to no end, pissing me off. Uh, this foiled TV here is from C and L crafts, by the way. Uh, and then it's washy Wednesday. Woohoo! So I have these super cute, um, washi rolls from the tasseled planner. And I want to layer that with this script from Letters to Apollo that just says Washi Wednesday. Oop, stuck to my finger, Washi Wednesday. And I feel like I should put that down at the bottom here. Let's see what else I have. Yeah, I don't have too much left. So I'm just gonna put this here. And then the Washi roll on this side. Can actually move the script over just a smidge. I like that. That's really cute. All right, uh, and then I definitely need to work on these save the dates for my block party thing. I'm a bobber that I'm responsible for. <laughs> uh, do I want to use a big label? I'm gonna use a skinny one. Skinny green label. And I pulled these really adorable exclamation Bubba Bears from Bubba Bear Studio. Y'all know I love these. So that's gonna be for save the dates. And then I do want to read Dig. So I am going to put that with these eyeglasses and I totally thought I pulled a script that said read, but looks like I didn't. So let me find one of those now. Okay, I'm gonna be using these scripts from Planner-esque and they just say read and I'm just gonna throw that here in the white space. Awesome, love it. All right, so that's everything for the first half of the week. Let's flip over. All right, moving on to Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. All right, so Thursday is not a very busy day, but we're just gonna go ahead and jump right in here. So I definitely have to get on the Peloton because I've been slacking. I also need to pack my stuff because I'm headed to New York this weekend. And let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna put pack luggage up here. This is a script from Arctic Paper Studio, and that's Cricket. <laughs> oh no. Okay, that's a little janky, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna live. Okay. Uh, I also need to continue to work on the save the dates. So I'm gonna use another one of those skinny labels to 
notate that and I actually need to send them out this day because they are due on the 31st for the neighborhood, but I'll be traveling, so I won't be able to send it out on Friday. So that's for save the dates. Uh, let's see. I also need to get a pedicure. Honey, It's it's been too long. <laughs> way too long okay so what color do i want to use for the box i guess i can use any color maybe pink i'm gonna use pink here and i feel like i don't have a lot going on, on thursday so we're just gonna kind of make some some things happen so i'm gonna put the pink down here and then i'm gonna use a flourish in the middle to kind of separate the space boom and then for the flourish that i want to use i want to use these from art box stickers and this is the collab that shantae did with her a couple months back and i bought like five of each sheet so I never run out <laughs> okay uh, next up is Peloton and I need to pre-plan for sure so oh I forgot to put my icon here for the pedicure mm, I feel like I need to move this down a bit okay and then cover this that nail polish bottle, by the way, is from Hello Petite Paper. Uh, next step, I am going to label, what did we say? Pre-planning and Peloton. So pre-planning, I guess I could put that in a label. Yeah, I'm gonna put this label down here this is from Rose Colored Days. It's her double shadow box thingy. I'm not sure of the correct name in the shop, but they're adorable. And then we're just gonna use, hmm. I'm gonna just put this in the open space. This is a spin bike from Lemon and Honey. And this is a custom here from C&L Crafts for Peloton. So I'm gonna do that this way. Yeah, I like that much better. And then this planner here is from the kit. And we're just gonna put that here and then write in pre-plan. All right, that's everything for Thursday. Moving on to Friday. This is my travel day. So I'm headed to New York City, as I mentioned, with some of my friends for this really cool event called the Polo Classic, Vuv Pluko Polo Classic, <laughs> something like that. And so what I am going to do is, first I'm gonna label payday because, hello, that's important. That is real important. <laughs> but I need to use a colored box of some sort because I wish there was more pink in this kit, to be honest with you, but there isn't. So we're just gonna roll with it. Um, okay, I guess we could just put it in. Yeah, I'm gonna use this flag that I pulled from my girl Amanda at Clever Gal Crafts. And then these really pretty um, foiled scripts from the sticky committee that say payday. Yeah, I like how that looks, looks good. Okay, so payday. And then I'm definitely going to want to edit my um, plan with me on the bus because it's like a four hour bus ride. But before I do that, I said that I'm going to be productive and do Orange Theory in the morning because the whole weekend I won't be able to work out pretty much. So I'm gonna use this label from the kit 
and I'm just going to do the same thing and mark it with the, ooh, I don't know if I like that. Let's see if I have another color shaker because that's like two white labels next to each other. Let's see. This one's gray. I think I like the gray one better actually. It kind of just gives it a little bit more dimension, I guess, I don't know. So we're gonna use the gray shaker from Ruby Trev again. Uh-oh. Nope, it's, it's staying where it is. <laughs> Okay, next up, what do we have? Um, oh, the bus ride, right. So we're definitely gonna get on the bus to go to NYC. It's like four and a half hours, which isn't terrible. So I'm just gonna use this little label from my newest addiction. And this little car, whoa, it just flew away. <laughs> the car flew away uh this little tiny car from magic or moonlight paper co and that's going to be for our bus ride love that okay uh so once we get there i oh, i totally forgot to put litter day okay so let me move how did i do the litter last time I just put it on washi strip. Okay, so I'm gonna move this down below the full box here. Put that here. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, and then for litter, I'm gonna put it on a washi strip. And let's do pink, I guess don't really have much of a choice. And make sure this is straight. And then I'm using the same icon from the sticker party. The little pooper scooper. Right there. All right. Now, so once we get to New York, we plan to um, get dinner, but I definitely want to edit my plan with me on the bus ride. So I'm going to put this here. Yay, it's Friday. And then really love this icon combination that I've got going here. So this is the newer um, headphones from the Tassel Planner with the cute little... Um, heart in the middle and then I'm going to use the edit plan with me script from letters to Apollo so let's see how I can do this it's going to be a little finagling here put that down there Yeah, that's cute. Oop. Let's get it straight. Okay, and then lastly for Friday dinner with my peeps. So I want to put that in a box. And we're going to use one of these dark gray boxes from the kit. We don't know where we're going to go eat yet, but there's seven of us. So I'm just going to put dinner with my crew. And that is from Little Paper Prints. And this little food icon utensils thingy from Rose Colored Days. Oh gosh, all right, this is where it's staying. <laughs> all right, so that's everything for Friday. Okay, we are now gonna move on to the weekend. And so let's start with Saturday, of course. But before we put the plans down, I am going to use the weekend banner that came on the freebie from gathered plans and i am just going to throw that up here on should i throw it up there or put it down here i'm going to put it down at the bottom 
mainly because I feel like I might have some plans that I need to squeeze in. Yeah, I have quite a bit to do Saturday and Sunday. So I'm going to put this down here at the bottom and we should be good to go there. Okay, so the weekend. Weekend is so exciting. So this weekend, like I mentioned, I'll be in New York City. And so we are going up there, me and a bunch of my friends. Well, I won't say a bunch. Me and some of my friends are going up for this event, which is called the Vuv Cluco Polo Classic. I know that sounds super bougie, and it, it really is. <laughs> When you when you hear what this event is, it is hella bougie. So really, it is an event for um, mostly younger professional people to go. And uh, I won't even say that. It's just a bougie-ass crowd. Let's just keep it real. And uh, it's a polo match. So, you know, the, the, the game with the horses, the polo match. Um, and then it's hosted by Vuv Cluco, which is a champagne brand. If you're not familiar, they are the brand um, that has the like gold and green bottle. You've probably seen them around. And so the entire day is based on this event. And so... We decided to go, and I'm excited, so, so excited. So I'm going to mark that with this sticker here. This is from the kit, and I pulled these two amazing stickers from Hey Soul Sticker. So we've got this first one here, which is the... Um, the bottle, which looks just like Vuv Cluco. And then we've got the champagne glass. And this is from Hazel Sticker, like I said. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of finagle them here on the page. Just gonna put it there. Okay, so that's for the Vuv Cluco Polo Classic, woohoo. I also, um, in the midst of all of that, all of those shenanigans. <laughs> I definitely want to place an order at Sephora because I am running low on some, some on some skincare items. So I pulled this cute little shopping bag from Artbox Stickers and it is silver foiled on her pink background. And I'm thinking I want to put that on a label from the kit. Throw that down here. Cute. Okay. And I also want to sign up for Bash. So the thing with Bash is you have to sign up like a week in advance. So I figure I would put a reminder so that I can sign up for next weekend's class. Um, yeah, I want to do like next Saturday, hopefully, if, if the schedule allows. But I'm going to put that on a box here and use this little glove. I feel like that's a weird color green, but it'll do. But I'm actually gonna move this down. I'm gonna move this down here. No, I'm gonna move this like way down here. And then put the glove. And before I forget, I want to put in this Hello June uh, transparent sticker from Rose Colored Days. And I just want to put that in this full box here. Let me make sure you guys can see because it is the first of the month. Yay. So I think I'm going to put that down here. Hello June. Oh, that's so beautiful. Love it. Get a little shimmer action here. All right, and unfortunately, the first of the month is also the day mortgage is due. So I pulled these cute scripts from KPL Plans. I don't know why I said that's so weird. <laughs> and that's going to go right here. 
And I also grabbed this little transparent money sign from Magic Prince Co. How do I want to do this? I want to layer it. There we go. All right, and I need to figure out what I want to put here. So one, two, three, four, five. I feel like there's something else missing. Not sure, but I am going to put this label down here. This is from Rose and Tea Shop. And put this here, and then I'll figure out throughout the week what I want to put there. And then I also want to uh, use a flourish to kind of fill out this space here. Let's see, maybe this one. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, let me. All right, so we've got Saturday done. Moving on to Sunday, the last day. All right, so this is the day we head home, and this is the day that this plan with me goes live on YouTube. Uh, so how did I wanna mark that? Well, first of all, we will be doing brunch with the squad before heading out of town, or I won't say out of town, heading back home. So I've got this sticker from my newest addiction and this brunch script from Chic Street Sticker Boutique. And I'm just gonna throw that here in the white space. And I'm gonna find an arrow to use for that uh, to kind of link those two. Uh, next up, it is birth control new pack day <laughs> for those of y'all who care. So I'm going to put that on a label if I have one. Oh, yes. I have the skinny label or no. Maybe I don't put it on a label. Maybe I'll just put it. Well, let's leave that till after to see where it can fit actually. Um, okay, next up, what do I have? <sighs> okay, we have to go back home. So how did I mark it the first time? The bus ride? Oh, it's right here. Okay, I did it on a silver label, so I'm going to do the same. Again, this is a label from my newest addiction. I love these so, so much. You get so many on a sheet, by the way. I don't know if I showed you guys before, but you get so many on a sheet. And I'm using another car from Moonlight Paper Co. to mark the bus ride home. Oh, I put that like way too low. Okay, let's try that again. There we go, bus ride home. Okay, so once I get home, I definitely need to post this plan with me. So. I pulled this script from Letters to Apollo. It is Plan With Me Live, and that needs to go here. And I'm not gonna put it on a, I'm not gonna put it on a label, but I'm gonna put it down here so that I can put something with the label up there. And then I have this cute little upload sticker from Moonlight Paper Co. I've had that for a long, 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 long time. All right. Next up, we've got birth control. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna put the BC. I feel like it should go, oh, I'm gonna put it on one of these labels from Simply Watercolor Co. Let's see which one looks the best. Let's do this pink one. Okay, that's fine. And then we're just gonna put BC and the little BC pack. That's cute. And then lastly, I've got to mark that we wanna do a power peel. Well, not we, I want to do a power peel. 
Let's see how much room I have because I want to put one other thing in there. If I put this, put it on this one. And then I pulled a Magic Prince Cup. Magic Print Co. Or no, I lied. This is Rory's Sweet Addiction. And so is this dollar sign. I'm tripping. And this little transparent face mask. And just pop it right there. And that's going to be for the Power Peel. So that is everything for the week. Now let's open you guys up to the spread. Okay, so here we have the finished spread before the pen. Give a little wiggle action. I really love this. The colors are so light, but they're also bold at the same time. I don't know, they're just like, I don't know, I think it's these grays, the dark grays that make this all kind of work together. I'm really loving the glitter headers up at the top from Inky and the Brain. Oh, this is perfect. All right, so let me go ahead and fill all of this stuff in and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here we have the finished spread with everything all filled out. Hella foil, I love this so, so much. Um, everything that I used will be down in the description bar. And of course, if you have any questions about anything, shoot me a message either on here on YouTube or on Instagram. Uh, please also don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it trying to grow this channel as big as I can. And yeah, I think that's everything for now. Um, thank you so much for watching and y'all have a good rest of the day. Bye-bye.